Hi, welcome to another how-to by myself, Rob Allen. Today we're going to do brake testing of our mechanism. We want to demonstrate the strength of the mechanism and how well it holds. The maximum pressure you're going to use on a normal gun will be about 120 kgs. We generally drop it to about 110. That is intention when the bands are pulling on the spear. We use maximum two 16 millimeters. I'm going to stretch one out now to 400% just to show you where the pressure's uh, set at. It'll be around 60 kgs. We have a rubber set up in the jig. We're going to stretch it four times to 84 centimeter. That will give us 400% stretch. Let me demo that for you. You can see on the gauge as it increases, these are in kilo kilograms. Coming up 400% now. There we are, just over 60 kgs on the load cell. Obviously, 2 times 16 will therefore be 120 kgs. In terms of safety, most uh, sets of gear are set to at least 150%. So we need to get at least 180 kilograms of tension on our mechanism. Okay, we're now at the hydraulic station where we're going to put tension on the load cell to see how well the spear holds. I'll introduce you to Mark. He's going to be manually cranking the hydraulics while I watch the scale. Again, we're starting off basically at zero, and now we're going to tension it up. Go for it, Mike. We're now at 180, basically the minimum requirement we need. You can see how everything's bending. 300. 350, keep going, 380, here we go. That's lower than normal, but way more than we need. Okay, this is exactly the same cassette, exactly the same spear. We're pulling it again, even though it has already failed. We're still going 200, there we go, nearly 250. More than enough, even though it's been forced to fail. After the two breakout tests, the only three parts that would have taken strain is the actual cassette itself, the sear, the stainless steel sear, and all the trigger. If we look closely at the trigger, there's zero wear. The wear or damage is to the top of the sear. The spear itself would have actually ridden over the top of the sear without the sear actually disengaging. In the cassette, there are pins. There's a trigger and the stainless part, so the, everything must have flexed ever so slight to allow it out. And that's what happens when it's been overloaded. The, that equivalent brake strain is about three and a half maximum powered 20 mil bands. As you can see in close up, there is zero damage to the trigger engagement point. It did not override the trigger. Because of the gear ratio, the trigger takes very little load and the material is very good in terms of friction coefficient. We don't use stainless because of that. This is the stainless sear. You can see the notch in the top. That was damaged at 380 kgs of tension.